Coming to you from Spy Shops USA again here in Rochester, Michigan. I uh, wanted to give you a quick little how-to video of our custom-built uh, iPod docking station hidden camera, um, nanny cam style. Now again, this is one that we custom build. We're going to go in and actually show you the menu. Now it is a fully functional iPod station with the hidden camera in it. Uh, we'll go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. Now if you look on the underneath side of the device, the battery hatch is where we built the SD card slot and the RCA cable to plug it into your TV to go and do your main settings. We're going to plug in the RCA cable here. I'm going to plug in the power to the unit. We're going to let the, the DVR board uh, start up here. Now again, there's your camera. Um, it is a wide angle view, so it's an 85 to 90 degree viewing angle. Uh, you do have a remote control that comes with the unit, so we're going to go into your main menu here. We're just going to hit the menu button. Now you've got your image setting. Uh, your record and uh, enter button on the middle is how you're going to do kind of your OK button to go to all your, all your functions. Um, we're going to hit OK on here. You can change your quality uh, from high, medium to low. Uh, you can change your frame rate. Uh, 30 frames per second, 15 frames per second, 5 frames per second. Obviously 30 frames per second is your full running video. Uh, you can also go through and change your resolution. Now it's on the D1 resolution, which is the highest quality that this DVR will support, but the camera itself um, is that high resolution too as well. So I would leave it on the D1 like it's set up. Uh, go into your recorder setting. You can do a scheduled time record if you want. Now this overwrite means, uh, you know, if you get to the end of the SD card, it'll actually overwrite uh, all your previous information, start re-recording them the first information if you want to do that. Also with this section, if you look at this, you can go through, and this is only on manual recording, uh, but you can change it to do 15 minutes per recording, 30 minutes per, per recording, or um, an hour per recording. Um, your motion detection settings, we'll go into here real quick. It actually does have a mask area, which if you click on this, you've got tons of different little grids. So if you've got pets that, that are in the house, you can actually block out all these grids at the bottom so your pets don't turn off the motion activated recording. Um, you know, when they're, they're kind of running by like that. So you've got tons of different options to, to go with that. Your sensitivity you can set up high, medium, or low. Uh, your speed you won't have to worry about, and your noise margin you won't have to worry about. Uh, we'll go back out to your main menu here. Uh, in your recording mode, you can set it up for manual recording, which is just a single push button to start it to record. You can do the scheduled time. You can do motion activated recording, or you can do your power up recording. Now, basically, your power up recording, anytime the unit has any uh, any power to it, it's automatically going to start recording. Um, right. You can actually play back here from the unit. Uh, so you can, you know, pop the SD card out, plug it into your computer to pull up your files, or you can play it straight back from the unit itself, which is a uh, you know easy access to those particular files. Uh, in your system setting, you can go up, um, you know, set your time which, you know, you can set your language, which obviously you want it on English. Uh, you can go through, set your time up, and you'll just change your time and date stamp accordingly. Uh, format, basically with format, you can delete all the information from the SD card in one fail swoop if you want. Now keep in mind, if you've got any information that you want on there, you don't want to format it because that will uh, wipe out everything on the disk. Uh, your card info will show you how much, uh, you know, how much memory size that you've got in there. We've got a four, uh, four gig card in there right now, so that's what it's showing. Um, alarm period, you won't have to worry about that. There's nothing you can set up on that. Your time and date stamp, uh, just if you want it on your video or if you don't want it on your video. And we can escape back out of that. Um, and that's basically the whole setup on this particular, uh, particular device. Basically, once you get all this information set, um, it'll keep all that same information as long as the unit itself doesn't go without power for more than, say, two or three days in a row. Uh, because the actual DVR board has an uh, external battery as well that it'll use for that. Um, let's see. We'll go back out to your video here. But again, you can see that it's a, uh, a wide-angle view. Um, you know, really great camera. Uh, with this one as well, the closer, I mean, it actually has an auto switching camera, so if you can kind of see this, it will turn into kind of a black and white picture um, once it gets to the, uh, you know, kind of in a lower light situation like that. So it's good for basically any kind of uh, any kind of recording at all. Um, this product is available on our website at spyshopsusa.com, or you can come visit us here in store at 411 South Main Street in downtown Rochester, Michigan.